So I'm trying this new fad called jogging. I believe it's pronounced jogging. Maybe jogging with a soft J, but apparently you just go out and run for extended periods of time. It's wild. Squirrels nut butter. Uh, also got three canaberries here. This is the new flavor. Uh, it's not uh, in the official packaging, but these are canaberries in my hand here. Uh, got the heart strap on, ready to do a long run today, October 25th, 2017. Uh, we're gonna head out to the highway, the highway 36 bike path between Boulder and Denver. It's this nice bike path. It's pretty hilly. Uh, well relative it's not super hilly but there's about a mile long climb out of boulder mile downhill then there's rolling half mile hills uh so it's it's a rolling pavement run it's a nice bike path i chose it because uh sandy could get out there on the bike hopefully film the second half which will be a timed interval uh we call it fart lick it's i know it's timed intervals but uh eight to ten times three minutes hard two minutes easy in the second half Again, we're gonna do uh, you know this long run, and uh, oh, did I say it's gonna be a 40k long run? So 25 miles, about 40 kilometer long run, on pavement, rolling hills. Uh, hopefully the wind won't be too bad because it's we're gonna go out and back. So it's if the wind's coming out of the west, it's gonna be a hard, dry wind coming back. It's actually pretty warm here today in Boulder. It's supposed to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is warm for a fall day. Uh, but not humid, so nice and dry. I'll have Sandy out on the bike with my electro ride fluid from Spring Energy uh, to bring me uh, the fluids that I need because I'm going to get dehydrated for sure. I don't want to carry that, but I will carry this GoPro, GoPro camera with me uh, for the start, or actually for the first until I see Sandy and she could film. Uh, and yeah, I'll uh, narrate along the way as we go along. Probably want to start off pretty steady, uh, at least 640, 630 pace, and then work it down to low. Six minute mile pace average uh, would be good, but it, you know, depends on the wind and the elevation profile. Definitely going faster on the fartlek surges in the second half to make it a negative split, hopefully, if it's not too windy. But the goal is really to get in the 40k, 25 miles, uh, get rolling, get the legs working a bit, get the heart rate up a bit. We'll see all the data on Strava. So uh, that's the plan for today. We're going to go start out at the CU Colorado University cross country course uh, and then jump on the Highway 36 bike path from there. See you out there. All right, I'm down here at the CU Cross Country Course, where we're gonna start. Head out on the bike path along the highway, Highway 36, to Denver. Ah, uh, already getting a little breezy. Pretty sunny and nice and warm out. Means good footing though, so uh, we'll uh, get started here. Got the Hoka 1-1 Clifton's on. Dry Max socks, Sage Runner. Pressport cast sleeves are too. Heart rate strap, Garmin 620. This run will be on Strava. Onto the bike pass. So first couple miles, I always don't look at the splits just so I can kind of warm up into it. Try to start pretty steady, but nothing crazy. It's a big uphill here. We'll get rolling later in the long run. All right, so that third mile is probably gonna be the slowest. It's all uphill. I think I'm ready to get to headwind this way. Wind's blowing this way. It's all a tailwind for the second half though. A lot of traffic, a lot of traffic going into Boulder, but uh, 
put this in context, I ran 120 miles last week at 194 kilometers. Trying to do it again this week. High mileage days. Most days I run twice a day, but since today's a long run day, it's just one run. All right, almost six miles in. We'll get the six mile split, 10K split, roughly. See what we're averaging. Getting a little thirsty. I'm getting a little thirsty. Heart rate's up on the uphills. Again, I got a headwind heading east, I think. Hopefully, we'll see. Alright, 38 minutes, 38.28 through 6 miles. It's a 620. This is a net uphill. So, uh, in the headwind. So, yeah, running, uh, I think, let's see, under a 630 pace average. So, that's good to the hills. Keep it rolling. Get a 10 mile split next. Or... So, uh, yeah, 120 miles a week. You have to average 17 miles a day, 17 and a half about. Yesterday I ran two runs, ran about 18.2 miles. So yeah, my legs are a little tired going into this long run even. It's all good though. All right, a little over 63 minutes for the first 10 miles or 16K. Uh, getting pretty thirsty and hot. Turn around in two and a half miles, uh, halfway in or 12 and a half miles total in, make it 25 miles, so about 20k out. Uh, hopefully I'll meet Sandy with a drink. She's riding her bike out, so getting thirsty. All right, so we made it to the turnaround point. It's been made into Westminster here. Uh, yeah, so turn around. I have a tailwind. Concerns me the most is I'm getting really thirsty. Definitely getting dehydrated. We'll start the fart lick after the half marathon work. 13.1 miles in. Get up to the top of the hill here. Oh, getting thirsty. The air is so dry here. So dry. It's about 122 through the half marathon. Start the fart lick. I need a drink. I need a drink of thirsty. <sighs> I'm 16 miles in almost, uh, hour 38. I'll take a Sage Canterbury, my spring energy gel. So thirsty, I'm really dehydrated. Oh, my savior, I need fluid. Thanks, man, I'll keep going with it. In the last mile now. Got really thirsty and dehydrated. Gonna do this one real slow. Uh, wind seemed to change direction again. Finish it up. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Up, oh, 25th mile, 654. 236 about. 25 miles, 40k. All right. That is the most thirsty and dehydrated I have been in a really long time. I'm stupid. I should have given Sandy two bottles. I only had one 16 ounce Nathan bottle. 
one pack of electrolyte, two Canterbury gels, taking a mile 16 and 20. Wasn't boggy at the end, wasn't breathing too hard, but massively dehydrated. It's such a dry climate out here, and with the wind and the sun exposure, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, definitely made it harder for me. Am I filming? Yes. Uh, I need to drink a ton now. I was, I was gonna fade. It's a good thing that wasn't a marathon race. That's why we drink more and eat more during the actual race. And it won't be at altitude too, so it's good. Thanks to Sandy for filming. Check out our channel, Running Wild to Believe. I'll put a link to it there. Check out our coaching plans, website, stagerunning.com. Thanks for all your supportive comments. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, see you next time. Hope your running's going well.